the District of Columbia is now the capital of creativity. With its diverse array of makers, it is a must that we bring you Made in D.C. I'm here at Cherry Blossom Creative, a design shop, innovative studio. We're here to check out what rare finds they have and other innovations. Come check them out. I'm with Tori Partridge inside of Cherry Blossom Creative. She is the creative director, by the way. Tori, I want to talk about the innovations in here. This place is amazing, vibrant, colorful, specifically these maps, which you guys are now iconic for, I'm assuming. Oh. Um, Talk to me a little bit about this. How did these come about? So these actually came about. The first project that I ever worked on when I started my design studio was for Annie's Ace Hardware up in Petworth. Okay. And she wanted something to put on the windows outside this giant hardware store that she was starting. Right. And so I made a map of Petworth for her that was going to be on there. And the second that it was up on the windows, I had people clamoring for prints of Absolutely. it. And all of a sudden, there was this huge demand. And right. then they sold like hotcakes, and then everybody in Columbia Heights was mad that they didn't have their print, right. so I made one for them. So we had and neighborhood jealousies happening. Oh because man, of this print. and it still happens. Well, you have a great workshop with Thank which you. to finish that work. Um, I want to talk about the other detail items you guys have here. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. No, a lot of them were spawned from just personal interests. Yes. Um, and kind of putting that displayed wise for folks. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about just selection process and who comes up and who finds these items? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I would say the head people on that are myself and Devin Tomaselli, who is one of the designers who works with me here and she does a lot of the shop curation. Yes. Our goal with this was to find sort of like the best products in the stationary office wares realm that were either American made or DC made um, yes. or were international products that like you just couldn't find anywhere else in the city. You know, we're in the retail component of, yeah. in essence, uh, Cherry Blossom Creative's workshop space. What's it like working with everybody in this space? You guys, have a lot of collaboration going on. I mean, it's very intimate yes. and very personal. It is It is all of those things. <laughs> um, sometimes it gets what we refer to as, as dynamic in here, which is days where it can sometimes be a little bit of a hot mess mm -hmm. if we're like receiving orders and taking <laughs> client phone calls and having customers come right. in and all of these things at the same time. But you know, we're a small but growing studio. We'll figure it out as we move forward. Um, just keeping things together is, is a fun challenge Absolutely. on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna look for a notebook, a keepsake, a pencil, something for myself. Um, these maps are iconic and appropriately named after the iconic cherry blossom of the district. Tori, it's a pleasure to have you guys here. Such a pleasure to have this you This is truly made in DC. The District of Columbia is now the capital of creativity. With its diverse array of makers, it is a must that we bring you Made in D.C. I'm here at Big Chief, where they're known for exciting libations and even more exciting times. We're going to go in here and talk about a new product, a product that's made right down the street to be exact, Civic Vodka. Come with me. Paris is with the Tin Shop DC. It's a new group that does restaurant curatorial and managerial services, as well as marketing. And you're talking to the creative director herself. Tell me a little bit about Tin Shop number one and this whole new revitalization of the restaurant industry in DC. We've been just opening up really cool businesses all around DC, honestly. We're kind of going into these neighborhoods that are kind of untapped. You know, Shaw is an up and coming neighborhood. Ivy City is an up and coming neighborhood. Right. What is it like having Civic Vodka as your neighbor? They are incredible. First of all, the women that operate that business are awesome. You know, they're making their own vodka. I mean, who else is doing that in the city? On New York Avenue. Right, on New York Avenue. So the, the idea behind these is that we have like a linear production setup. Okay. Um, so we do the mashing or the, the okay. cooking of our grains in the first one. Okay. The next two tanks are for fer fermentation. So mm -hmm. we do a five day fermentation mm -hmm. where you include yeast in the process and basically are, are converting your sugars into alcohol. Right. And then behind you are the stills. And so mm -hmm. this is one distillation unit, but it's two kettles mm -hmm. uh, for efficiency. Can I please 
try Civic in the Ivy Room. I, have to, I have to have this experience. It would be my honor to pour you some Civic. Mm, very smooth. I'm in the Ivy Room in Ivy City with Rachel. And I've had some Civic, y'all. It's definitely worth your time and worth the pour. Come on by when you get a chance. We're right on New York Avenue. You probably pass it every day. Rachel, thank you for bringing Civic to the district. Thank you so much for having us. This is truly made in DC. Everybody has secrets, right? Baby, you're my secret, my dirty little secret, so don't tell. Miss Smallwood, can I please enter the red room? Awesome, thank you so much. I'm with Tressa Smallwood, by the way, none other than the CEO of Life Changing Books and Mega Mind Media. Tressa has brought a gem to the district known as Secrets, which started as a book under Life Changing Books. Talk to me a bit about the maturation of Life Changing to now becoming a media brand. Secrets um, started out as Secrets of a Housewife. Mm. And so that- Jay Trumbull. Jay Trumbull. That project was written in 2007. Okay. So around 2010, I said, all right, I need to start figuring out how do I take all of these books that have mm -hmm. been written under Life Changing Books. Right. 141, by the way. Wow. Yeah, so we're excited. Life Changing for many people, yes, I can imagine. Yes, okay. yes, And so, you know, my goal was, I said, all right, Life Changing Books represents projects, books, mm -hmm. uh, works of art where we have real life situations, right. like in secrets, people right. cheat in real life, there's infidelity in real life, but we always make sure at the end, we've learned something, that's we're right. able to grow. That's and so right. that's where life-changing books come from. Absolutely, I love the character development, especially with the backdrop of the district. Yes. Um, why here, why now? When I started my, um, my film company, everybody kept saying, you need to go to Atlanta. Yeah. You need to go to um, you know, LA. You right. need to go somewhere where they have all these incentives and these right. resources. And right. I said, no, in DC we have mm. that too. Mm. Nobody believed me. I've always got to tell them, you don't understand, you don't yeah, understand, yeah. and so we got to just show them. Right, absolutely. Let's talk about the future. Yeah. Um, I know you guys are going to have a few more productions happening in the district, yes. I'm hoping. Yes, March. Um, March. March. That fast. Yeah, born in the game. Wow. Has the industry, especially Hollywood as a whole, taken notice of what you're doing for the district? Absolutely. Uh, we started in the summertime. We attended ABFF. Um, Secrets was the feature film, mm. the narrative feature film for ABFF, and it all started there. You know, people started calling, emailing. Since then, wow. um, I have sales reps that are repping the entire LCB brand, right. and so they want some of our projects that are series, they want them as TV shows. So I have a lot of work to do. I see. Okay, I just need to keep right. my laptop in right. my lap That's right. and just work. She said earlier, the grind <laughs> starts early, so you know she's getting up at Oh my Way early o'clock. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get with Greg Freeman. Yeah. One of your oh. producers in a few. Love Greg. These guys are making life changing moves Love Greg. and they have mega minds. Trust us, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm gonna right. exit the red robe. I don't think security's no. gonna help me today. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself. All right. Uh, Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's no secret I'm with Mega Mind Media today, but I do have another treat for you guys. I want the other half of Mega Mind, Greg Freeman. Greg, had to come see you after seeing Azarel over at the museum and talk about this great thing that you're bringing to the district. A gem, by the way, Secrets, the movie. I want to talk a little bit about um, the district as the third or, or, or the other character that's not really stated in the script, but it's a distinct character in the film. What was it like shooting in this area? Oh, well, for me, you know, this is my hometown. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time in Southeast, so it's a big thing to come right. and bring the quote unquote Hollywood industry to the city. Um, right. It's always been a talent rich town. Mm -hmm. Taraji P. Henson, Lons Alonzo, Lamont Lawrence, these names are from this region. Right. Um, so uh, we knew 
<clears throat> that talent was here, we just had to go find it. And then, you know, the uh, the sites in other city, the monument, yes. the White House, the Capitol, these yeah. are places that people always see but really don't understand is this, you know, this is Washington, D.C. Absolutely. This is how we get down. You know, this it, it's funny, the district has a lot.